and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be giving another update on the food shortages, and yes, they are worldwide. Uh, many times we are sharing statistics of what's happening right here in the U.S., but these food shortages are worldwide. There are empty shelves all over the planet, right? Um, for some areas, they don't even have such grocery stores to, to where they can even go and shop like this. So. Um, a lot of people in more developed countries have become spoiled to the fact that they can go to a store and they expect the stuff to be there and it's going to be there and they don't have to worry about things. This image right here, uh, this, this is in a foreign nation. Um, you could tell by the, um, the wording that's in certain areas there um, and some of the print work. But um, yeah, this, this food shortage is worldwide. Uh, Sister Monica, she decided to send me a video of what things are looking like in her area, okay? Things are looking like in her area. She's showing the um, empty shelves. She also sent me an image of uh, something that a truck driver sent to her from what's going on in an area that they were passing through. Anyway, um, take a look at this uh, short clip by Sister Monica. She's um, in Walmart, I believe, and she is showing what's happening in her region. Be right back. Anyway, I had to bring somebody out today. Family, I want you to show y'all something. Uh, they told me I'm at Walmart that all the meats were gone. Check this out. I'm gonna turn it around. Trees are stacked up, honey. I ain't trying to play with it. The only reason I'm out today, I don't need nothing. The only reason I'm out today is because I had to bring my friend out. But they had told me in Food Line that Walmart chef was getting ready to get empty. Let's see, see, see. What else I got to get out of here? I'll get my snacks. Okay, thank you, Sister Monica, for submitting that video. Uh, some of you have stated that it's uh, pretty rough in your areas, and some of you have stated that you are not seeing that much of a problem, just a little bit here and there. Um, depending on where you are, you're going to see varying degrees of empty store shelves, but there is definitely a food shortage going on for a number of different reasons. Uh, the supply chain has been interrupted. Uh, things that happened over the last uh, growing season um, are affecting even what we get today. Um, certain natural disasters uh, play a role in this as well. And so what we're trying to do is continue to sound the alarm so that those who are, uh, I would call in the sleeper category, would wake up and realize that they've got to move in a direction of fortifying their life and their situation. Um, these, um, these situations are not gonna change unless we change them ourselves. Um, as a matter of fact, um, as is being reported, things are actually getting worse on a worldwide scale, right? But what you do for yourself is going to be the deciding factor in most cases. Uh, what you do for yourself is going to be the deciding factor in how you are going to fare in all of this. Um, if you are going to depend solely on something outside of yourself, uh, you might find yourself deeply disappointed in the outcome because uh, we've seen in times past where in certain regions you are pretty much on your own if things go too far south you are pretty much on your own and uh, there have been those who have sounded the alarm and have said that they said that they feel like we're on our own now right people of all races have said this that they believe that the governments of the world have finally abandoned the people and that we are on our own whether you believe that or not, that's up to you. But if someone was saying that to me, I could rest you can rest assured that I'm going to try to do something, try to figure out something to give myself a better position than you're just on your own. Um, anyway, these food shortages are happening. Famines are happening. Uh, we are in the perilous times, not trying to fear monger. I remember years ago before all of this stuff started happening, uh, people were saying that I was a fear monger or trying to make people afraid. 
So since when does sounding the alarm to what you know is going to happen? Since when is that fear mongering? Since when is that fear mongering? Uh, usually those are people who don't have any plans on doing anything for themselves because they believe that the system is always going to be intact. But here we are years later. Here we are years later and the system is falling apart. And those of you who don't want to fortify, please, please understand. Please understand those of us who do. All right. This is not to make you uh, feel less than anything. You know, someone said um, on one of my messages recently that I sound just like the white man saying, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And I said to myself, that is not true. If someone is sounding the alarm, telling you to prepare, telling you to fortify, telling you to join with family or friends or do whatever, whatever, that has nothing to do with telling someone to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I'm basically telling you to do the same thing that we are doing, the same thing that others are doing, which is fortify, which is grow food however you can, even if it means joining with others. That doesn't equate to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's basically sounding the alarm because we have to do something, especially when people are saying that this system has abandoned the people. So don't take offense when we do these sound the alarm type videos. It's not meant for you to get on the offensive or get upset or get angry that someone dares to even talk about these things. As a matter of fact, over the years, we have been giving away seeds to people who want to um, give a try at growing their own food. We've been doing that for years and I have more. I've bought more seed vaults that I'm going to be giving away in the, in the coming weeks to those who are really trying to make an effort. I don't want to send these seed vaults to anyone who's just going to just put them on the shelf and hope for the best. But if you want to put them to use, that's who I'm going to be sending these seeds out to. And so stay tuned um, as we make the announcement on when we're going to be doing that. Um, I can only give out what I have right now. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, but for those of you who may not get selected during this, this particular, um, what do I want to, want to call it? Outreach. Uh, seeds are very affordable. They are very affordable in some cases. Okay. Very affordable. But um, anyway, I'm done with this video. I'm done sounding the alarm. For those of you who take offense, I'm sorry if you do, but I'm going to continue to sound the alarm to those who will hear. Anyways, I am out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.